solve another numerical problem about the dual nature of electromagnetic radiations. Now the question is that when electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 300 nanometers falls on the surface of sodium, electrons are emitted with the kinetic energy of 1.68 into 10 to the power 5 joules per mole. What is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from sodium? And what is the maximum wavelength that will cause a photoelectron to be emitted? Now we know that when energy is given uh, of any light falls on a metal, what happens? It produces the minimum energy, that is the threshold energy, is used to uh, remove the electron from the metal, uh, from the metal uh, surface and the remaining energy is used up as the kinetic energy of the, of the photoelectron. So the formula that we have, let us do the solution here, what is the strategy? We know that energy which is given is equal to H nu naught which is the threshold energy plus the kinetic energy Me V square. Now we have been given the wavelength and the energy of the, the kinetic energy of the uh, emitted electron. But we have been given the kinetic energy of one mole of electrons. Do you see? It is the kinetic energy of one mole of electrons. We can calculate energy from wavelength of the photon, but we will have to calculate it for one mole to get this threshold energy. Right? So let us first move. If this is given in a mole, how do we calculate the energy? The half mv square is given to us and this is equal to, this is, how much is it? 1.68 into 10 to the power 5 joules per mole is the energy, kinetic energy given to us. H nu naught for a mole has to be calculated from H nu. So our aim now is to find out H nu. So from the frequency given to us, we know H nu can be written as, since we are not, we have not been given frequency, we have been given wavelength and C is equal to nu lambda, therefore nu would be C by lambda. Therefore H nu is H C by lambda. H is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules per second. The speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Divide this by, this is 6, you know, it's just written it a little. Okay. And lambda is given to us in nanometers. Converted into meters, it would be 300 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So let us first handle the units. Meters and meters get cancelled. And this is meters per second, joules per second. That's the speed. So we'll get energy in joules, sorry, joules second and per second. The per second and the second, they get cancelled. So now the energy would be in joules. But this is energy of one photon that we will obtain. And the energy, kinetic energy is given to us is of one mole. So let us first calculate it for one photon and then we we'll multiply it by the, uh, by the Avogadro's number to get it for a mole. So this energy would, when you calculate this, this comes out to be equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. Okay, this would be equal to these many joules. But this is energy of one photon. So energy of energy of one mole of photons of photons. How much would that be? Just multiply energy of one photon H nu into Avogadro's number. So H nu we have just calculated is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules into what is Avogadro's number? 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 per mole particles or photons per mole. So when you calculate this, this comes out to be equal to 3.99 into 10 to the power 5 
joules per mole. Am I clear? So now what have we done? We know that the energy given is used up as threshold energy to remove to cause photoelectric effect and the remaining energy becomes the kinetic energy. So now we have we have been given the kinetic energy. We have calculated the energy for one photon. Since kinetic energy is for one mole, we have now calculated the energy for one mole of photons. So now one mole of photons this much of energy is given to it. This much of it is used as kinetic energy. So this minus this should give us the value of H nu naught. Isn't it? Total energy given minus kinetic energy will give us the threshold energy for one mole of photon, uh, photoelectrons. So let us just calculate this. So energy of energy, threshold energy or let us just write for one mole. H nu naught h nu naught for one mole would be equal to one the total energy is 3.99 and this is also minus 1.68 into 10 to the power 5 since both are 10 to the power 5 joules per mole is the energy for one mole of the threshold energy for one mole of photoelectrons. This would be equal to 2.31 2.31 into 10 to the power 5 joules per mole is the energy for one mole. But we want the energy. What do we want? What is the minimum energy that is the threshold energy needed to remove an electron? One electron. We have calculated the energy for one mole which is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles or photons in a mole. So for one mole, how would we calculate it? Uh, sorry, for one photon, it would be divided H nu naught for one photon, photoelectron would be equal to energy for 2.31 into 10 to the power 5 joules per mole divided by the Avogadro's number which is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 per mole. So per mole per mole get cancelled. The energy would be left in joules which would be equal to 8 sorry 3.84 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. This is the energy for one photon, photoelectron. That is the threshold energy for one photoelectron. Now what's the last part of the question? That what is the maximum wavelength that will cause a photoelectron to be emitted? The maximum wavelength corresponds to that minimum uh, frequency. So we know that lambda, the wavelength energy is known to us. E is equal to H nu and since nu is we are talking of wavelength we can also write this as hc by lambda now since we are interested in finding the lambda you can change this as lambda and energy can be interchanged so lambda wavelength would be hc by e h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second C is the speed of light which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second and divided by the energy that we calculated for one photoelectron that is 3.84 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. This will give us the wavelength. The joules and the joules would get cancelled. The second inverse and the second inverse the second would get cancelled. So you would be left with what unit? Only meters. So what's the answer? And it would be 517 nanometers if you calculate, which is equal to 517 into 10 to the power minus 9 actually meters into 10 to the power minus 9 meters, which can be written as 517 nanometers. And this wavelength corresponds to green light in the electromagnetic spectrum. So do you see? This is, look at the numerical problem, see what is asked 
and how can you approach what is it that has been given to us what is it that we are supposed to find out and th then go about it in a logical way practice as many numerical problems as you can and keep returning for more lessons in chemistry thank you for watching